What's up family, Trail here and as of today, things are about to start changing. Drastically that is. The midterm election final results are still coming in and it looks like Republicans are gaining a few seats in the House, which means things are about to change. We also have new information regarding some $800 checks that are going out in one particular state, as well as another state about to receive some $500 rebate checks. I have the details to share with you in a moment. And also, we have information on the former President Donald Trump picking another fight with a governor who won last night. I've got the details to share with you in a moment, but in the meantime, you already know what to do. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Well guys, it is still hurricane season and it looks like Florida is the enemy of the year. Yes guys, another hurricane is headed towards Florida, or should I say right now it is considered a tropical storm. Yes guys, as you can see, hurricane warnings for Florida as tropical storm Nicole intensifies. And yes guys, currently spinning northeast of the Bahamas is intensifying and is forecasted to strike Florida as a hurricane sometime today on Wednesday. And as you can see right now, Florida airports are closing ahead of the dangerous storm. We are seeing the major hurricane in Orlando, such as MCO or uh, Orlando International Airport, is also closing right now in advance of this particular storm that is headed in that direction. Uh, guys, uh, I will say we will continue to keep those in our prayers and hopefully this does not turn into another hurricane hitting the state of Florida. They have already gone through enough, especially those individuals that live on the west coast of Florida in the Fort Myers area, which was pretty much devastated from this particular storm. But anyways, guys, that is the latest right now in regards to the latest storms, uh, tropical storms, uh, hurricanes, and hopefully this does not get worse before it gets better, guys. But anyways, I will keep you guys posted as usual. If you live in the state of Florida, I will encourage you to perhaps maybe leave the state. But anyways, guys, hey, be safe out there and hopefully we'll talk to you later on very soon, guys. But anyways, guys, moving on to some of the midterm election news that we have received thus far. I will say that we are continuously getting uh, more information coming in and it might not necessarily the count of the votes might not be done until later this week, guys. But so far in the great state of Texas, my home state, yes, Texas Governor Greg Abbott has easily won a re election, beating out the Democratic challenger Beto O'Rourke, according to the latest news. But he is not the only one that won a re-election. We do have the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis. He also won big uh, last night in regards to the re-election. And yes, guys, Ron DeSantis beat Charlie Chris, 57 to 42, in what was the wildest margin in a Florida governational race since Jeb Bush won by nearly 13 points in 2002. And yes, guys, you can see uh, Ron here with his uh, beautiful family and his two children, or three children, I will say. Uh, but yes, guys, uh, Ron DeSantis has won, which is basically pushing him towards running for the president in 2024. Yes, guys, we just got through the midterm election in regards to Ron DeSantis. And yes, guys, people are already looking towards DeSantis versus Trump rivalry coming later next year, guys. So we are probably going to see these two pretty much have a rivalry in regards to the next presidential election in which the former president Donald Trump has also went a step further telling the American people that, look, I have secret information on DeSantis and he is now putting out threatening Ron DeSantis over a 2024 presidential run saying that if Ron DeSantis does decide to run, it would be a big mistake. And yes, guys, Donald Trump is continuing to feel the competition from uh, Ron DeSantis by declaring it would be a mistake for the Florida governor to run for president in 2024 and threaten to expose unflattering things about Ron DeSantis. In a statement from the former president, he said that, look, I would tell you things about him that won't be very flattering. I know more about about him than anybody else other than perhaps his wife, the former president told Fox News Digital this week. The comments come after Donald Trump last week 
refer to the Florida governor as Ron DeSantimonious when reacting to his re-election campaign advertisement. And yes, both Ron DeSantis and the former president continue to be seen as the two most favorite candidates for the Republican Party nomination in 2024. And yes, guys, the former president, Donald Trump, is already going dirty in regards to saying that he is going to reveal some of the secrets that he knows about Ron DeSantis, which probably only his wife knows. But we don't know necessarily how much that is true, guys. But it does raise the question how dirty this potential fight could be come sometime next year when the uh, presidential campaigning actually starts if we do hear from the former president on whether or not he is going to run for president in 2024. Again, guys, uh, he is planning on making that announcement very soon. And I believe he said that he is going to make the announcement whether or not he is going to run again for the presidential election sometime on November the 15th. So again, guys, like I said before, I do not believe that he will run because he has too much to lose. To put yourself in a position in which you could lose two times running for the president of the United States? Yeah, former President Donald Trump has too much pride. I do not think that he will actually run, guys, but we will know more specifics on that come November the 15th, according to his statement. But anyways, guys, moving on, we do have some information in regards to the student loan forgiveness plan, uh, those refund checks. Yes, guys, we have information in regards to the student loan forgiveness. They are saying that right now, refund checks are in the mail for anyone who paid during the COVID-19 moratorium. Now guys, this is exactly what they are talking about. They are talking about in regards to how President Biden actually froze all student loan repayments and said that anyone that actually made payments during those particular times, you are probably going to get a refund for the amount of money that you actually paid during the COVID-19 moratorium. Yes, guys, I know probably the individuals that did pay during the moratorium, they were probably seeing themselves as, look, it is my student loan debt and I will continue to repay my debt to society in regards to the student loan forgiveness. So yes, guys, but the Biden administration as well as President Biden is saying that, look, you didn't have to do that. We have frozen all student loan repayments. And now they're going a step further, guys, and saying that if you made any payments during this particular time, March of 2020 up to uh, currently right now, yes, if you made any payments, you are probably going to be receiving a refund check in the mail. And those are in the mail right now, guys. They are saying that some checks are starting to be sent to certain student loan borrowers, even though as a result of a court order, the Biden administration is temporarily blocked from processing debt discharges. So again, guys, Bloomberg is reporting that checks are being sent to borrowers who paid down their student loans after the pandemic pause took effect in March of 2020. Despite the pandemic pause, an estimated 8.8 .8 million people made at least one payment between March of 2020 and December of 2020. According to Bloomberg. So again, guys, if you made any payments during that particular time, you are probably going to receive a check in the mail. So yes, I need to go ahead and tell my wife because we continuously made our payments to her student loans as well. So anyways, guys, maybe we will receive a check in the mail very soon, guys. But anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that. But moving on, we also have information about uh, some Americans are going to be getting a direct payment a rebate worth up to $800 in the month of November and the month of December using a new tool. Uh, I definitely want to share this information with you guys. Yes, it says that thousands of Americans have been able to qualify for a direct payment of up to $800 and nearly $1 billion has been set aside for those eligible for this particular rebate in South Carolina. And yes, after South Carolina state lawmakers approved of a state tax rebates back in June, the South Carolina Department of Revenue will be issuing close to $1 billion to eligible taxpayers who filed a 2021 state individual income tax return, according to the South Carolina Department of Revenue. Yes, this is great news for South Carolinians, as it means that payments will be distributed up to $800 
per person. Qualifications for this particular rebate is dependent on filing the 2021 state tax return as the website states right now. For anybody who filled out a federal return or who did not file their taxes at all, there is a bit of work to do before they will be receiving their particular check. Now, it does say that anybody who filed their tax return by October the 17th should get their rebate by December the 31st of this year. Those filing from October October the 18th to February the 15th of next year, we will receive payment sometime in March of next year via the Hurricane Inn Tax Relief Plan. And yes, guys, they're saying that, look, if you missed your November the 1st deadline, which is already passed, guys, we still need your updated address, but your rebate may be a little bit delayed. And they also include a login where the proper tax information can be filed on the website. So yes, guys, if you live in the state of South Carolina and you filed your individual tax return for the year of 2021 by October the 18th, you should be eligible to receive up to $800 per person. That means you and your spouse, if you are married or uh, if you are single, either way, you can receive up to $800 per individual in the state of South Carolina. But anyways, guys, also in the news, I do want to let you know about the Virginia uh, tax rebate. This is a one-time tax rebate. Uh, eligible taxpayers must have filed their tax return by November the 1st to receive this particular rebate. And yes, guys, they are saying that these rebates are for individuals up to $250 or married couples up to $500. And yes, guys, some taxpayers will receive the rebate by direct deposit and some will receive an actual paper check in the mail. And they're saying that in order to be eligible, not every taxpayer is eligible to receive one of these. But if you had a tax liability last year, you will receive up to $250 if you filed individually and up to $500 if you filed jointly. Tax liability Ability is the amount of tax you owe throughout the year minus any tax credits. And yes, you can check your eligibility by using the rebate lookup tool. If you still have questions about your eligibility, check out these common scenarios for more information. And as you can see, guys, on this particular website of uh, the tax.virginia.gov slash rebate website, as you can see on the screen, these are the particular common scenarios that most people are asking right now, such as did you receive social security? Security, unemployment or disability income last year was your adjusted gross income less than $11,900 for individuals or $23,000 for joint filers last year. Did your tax credits like your low income tax credit when you filed or do you owe money to the local or state agency or an institution and did you have a tax liability when you file your tax return of 2021? Those are just some of the common questions that people are asking on this particular website but anyways guys like I said this particular tool right here uh, has the check your eligibility button at the very top of the screen so that you can fill out the particular information to find out whether or not you are actually eligible to receive this one-time tax rebate in the state of Virginia again guys this could be anywhere between $250 for individuals and $500 rebate checks for married couples again guys I will include a link to this down below in the description so that you can check it out for yourself and click on the check your eligibility button to find out whether or not you will actually be receiving one of these in the mail or direct deposit. But anyways, guys, I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today. But feel free to check out some of the links down below because they really help and support this channel, as well as there are some few ways to offer you some free money, some free cash, as well as how you can get 12 free stocks by just depositing one dollar with Webull. If you are interested, those links will be down below. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.